Jennifer here with Murphy's Nest and I'm in the car. Um, we have been busy this afternoon and this morning. Um, I did stop into a thrift store. I stopped into the Goodwill and I found some awesome items today. I'm so excited to share them with you guys. Um, but first I wanted to let you know uh, we're going to go over to the unit at the flea market today. Um, today is a Thursday and Jeff's going to build the shelf which means I still have to get that last piece of melamine board um, and have them cut it. So there's another Home Depot closer to the unit. We're going to stop there. Hopefully the saw is not broken and uh, it is so hot. We haven't had this hot temp since last season. Um, it is 88, it's reading in my car today. I am just like sweltering and I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt <laughs> and a pair of shorts, but still. Um, so you guys, definitely, if you're interested in seeing what I found at the thrift store, you're gonna be so excited. Give me a thumbs up right now and then you guys can check it out. So I just made it home. I'm so excited about this, guys. <laughs> All right, Oop, one of them's falling out, got it. All right, so let's see. All right, I just found like five authentic Michael Kors purses. Oh my God. All right, so I found this black one and it's called the Jet Setter. And um, they have a little bit of a smoky uh, perfume smell, but I think I can get that out. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not familiar with cleaning bags as well. I also got another jet setter in the creamy a tan color, and I'm like super excited about this one because I think this one will sell really well for spring and summer. Then the one I fell in love with at the store, um, it has a little bit of damage, but not much, is the Kenley. This one, I don't know if you guys can see it very well. It's got this really pretty pink color to it. I'm like, this is going to be perfect for spring as well. And it has a little bit of, there it is, right at the edge that's coming off the um, leather, which is common on these purses. My coach purse also had that same thing happen. Um, this one is called the East West Satchel. It's got the key inside the little, um, like, you know, this little, what do you call it? Tag hanging thing. <laughs> um, and I'm super excited. The only problem with this one is the liner is like really dirty. So the girl must have used this one a lot. And then I did get one more and I haven't looked it up. So I'm not positive what the name is, but this really cute little white one. And I... I'm just, I'm in love with them all. Um, and it's got like the really cool feet on it. So I'm so excited. I also picked up, I don't know if you guys have seen these yet. Um, these are on Amazon. They are shoe rack, I know it's upside down. Shoe rack um, things. When they come in the mail, they are like cheap quality. They look like cheap quality but once you put them together they are so sturdy and nice and they fit all the shoes so I grabbed another one for the unit and oh I forgot let me go around to the other side of the car I found an American Girl concession stand the only downfall is with the concession stand is it's missing all the accessories and the little um the little uh what do you call it I think there's like a little banner that goes with it, but I was so excited. It says American Girl right down there. I am so excited. I scored really well today. Looks like we got mail, guys. So we're going to be doing a whatnot auction. I just got accepted for the live. Um, and so I ordered a whole bunch of Polly Millers. This was 10 bucks for 100 and I got the bananas. I thought it would be kind of fun. Um, and these ones are, let's see... I want to say they were like 14 by 16 or 14 by 18 or something. They were a very large size. I'm trying to see. Yeah, it doesn't say on the container. So I'm super excited about these because our first whatnot auction, I haven't scheduled it yet. I'm going into the unit today um, and I'm going to grab all the superhero t-shirts that I got in one of the other uh, videos. I don't think I posted it. Um, I'm a little backlogged on some of my videos. <laughs> But anyhow, um, so I have like maybe 40 or 50 superheroes, DC, Marvel, um, I think there was a Pokemon, there's a Nintendo, a Zelda, Transformers, all those 
variety of sizes and we're gonna do our very first whatnot auction. Jeff is super excited. Yesterday we spent the entire day trying to get the garage organized because we typically haven't been selling um, for a really long period of time since before the pandemic. So we haven't really had any sort of like formal storage areas or how we were gonna have things set up. So um, we're gonna build what we're doing at the flea market, like a shelf here at the house as well. And when we go to do that, I figured we'll just end up um, putting all these boxes on there and then we can organize and sort stuff. But he wants to be able to do our whatnot auctions in the garage, which I'm not sure if that's gonna work. We'll have to see. Um, I don't know if the lighting's good. I don't know if the sound will be good, um, but we'll we'll do our best. We're gonna try to set up shop in the garage. <laughs> okay, so uh, yesterday we were actually putting in um, the, what do you call it? The shelf that I um, bought the wood for in one of our previous videos. We did get the, um, the board to put across. We did not end up getting the melamine. We did find something a little cheaper. I think it was like $32 for the MDF and it was the right thickness and I think it's sturdy enough. So Jeff built that last night. I'm here at the units today. I'm going to open the rest of these pallets and then um, basically start organizing stuff. So let me show you guys what it looks like. All right. So this is what we have built. We're gonna get another piece for up top, but we'll wait um, a couple more weeks. Uh, but this is where I think I'm gonna put all the large stuff is in this room, and then try to keep the other stuff on the other side. So basically he used just um, two by fours, and you can see he's got some bracing underneath, and then it's just the MDF top, and then he just uh, used some two by fours for the you know, the framing for the outside legs and stuff. So I could fit stuff underneath this shelf, that shelf, and eventually we'll get a big one. We have such high ceilings in here. Um, we'll have to maximize what we could use. Ideally, it would be nice to do on this back wall um, a 10 foot run of pallet, um, what do you call them? Uh, I'm trying to think of the word. It's um, a pallet shelf of some sort it looks just like these but it holds the um the weight of pallets so um i don't know what their standards are but the ones that we've been finding online which is probably a really good deal but for somebody who's just opening up um you know something inside their their uh flea market booth it's probably not worth it um she had them listed for like 50 to 100 bucks but then when you go to actually price it out it was a lot more than that and so she went 250 dollars for a 10 foot run which included two sides and then two uh bracing bars or yeah two bars for each side so i don't know i was not thrilled with it so i decided to pass and decide we could build this right behind me <laughs> while i'm out here i am exhausted <laughs> Um, Jeff is going hard and he's doing so much work and I appreciate him. He's working a regular nine to five job on top of helping me with as much as we can do. When you're starting out a business, um, I mean, it's going to be exhausting. It's not like, you know, it's leisurely. Um, I mean, if you're going to do something that's kind of leisurely, then you're really not in it for the money and you're not really going to make as much of an income as what you potentially could be making. Um, so this is actually just like... I don't know, this is very difficult. I mean, we're, we're doing so much. The storage unit here out at the flea market is almost a half hour, 45 minute drive every single time we come out here. I mean, and with the way gas prices are, that's expensive as well. Um, and then we're out here all weekend long and it is weather permitting. And I would love to have a storefront or a warehouse that we could just go to every single day and be open um, five or six days a week or whatever schedule we can do. But um, it's, this is just so much work, guys. I was not prepared for as much as I thought it was. So if you guys are looking to open up um, you know, a liquidation pallet business and you're looking to do some of the stuff that we're doing, just be prepared. I mean, it is a lot of work. Um, my body is so sore. I have um, RA, which is rheumatoid arthritis, and I am like so sore in my back, my knee joints, everything, just from lifting stuff, moving stuff. Um, and with the temperatures changing, I, I swell up a little bit with the heat. 
So it's just, it's a tough one, guys. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys want to see some of the stuff that we're opening. Um, there's a lot here. I, I am noticing a lot. Jeff tells me I say the word um all the time in our videos, and I know I do. So hopefully it's not too annoying. Uh, let's open up some of this stuff. So we're going to open up these palettes. The first palette I opened up was the one that had these chairs on it. They do have some damage, but they're really nice chairs. Um, this one, the top is loose, so it needs to be put back on. And then I think under the lip of one of them, there's um, some damage. But I mean, if you're looking at them like this, honestly, they don't look bad at all. Um, and it has uh, this table leg, but there's no top. We've looked all over the palette, can't find the top. So this palette here that I just broke open um, has a whole bunch of workbenches and a trampoline. This says it's an armless chair. I'm not sure I gotta double check those. And then there's another box down there we gotta check. Let's see if we can open it up because no one's going to want to buy it. It's by, unless it's open, you know, you might be able to see it then. Um, it's Lee Lola Home, Live, Laugh, Love. Could be something totally different in here, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. It looks like an arm chair. There she is. Looks like it's missing the back side. And it's like part of a sectional. So basically, I can't do anything with this piece. The first piece, I can't do anything with. I'm looking at the directions, guys, and I might actually have the pieces. <laughs> so this is the directions. If you look at that bottom diagram, it looks like I have to open the bottom of the chair and pull out the back and the cushion. So maybe I do have something good. So my son broke the um, the screw, like the hinge on my tripod stand. I'm gonna have to get a new one when I leave here. Um, so bear with me. But it looks like, yep, underneath the bottom is the pieces, guys. So on the diagram, I'm looking here. I didn't even know it, but it looks like you can open the bottom of the box and then there's the two pieces. So I might actually have the full piece here. I do! How exciting! It's such a nice color, guys. It's like a nice uh, neutral. It's perfect for somebody who has like a, a game room or something else, or like a family room. So let's see if I can put this together. Looks like it all just slides right into it. Alright, let me put this back on. Oh, here's the feet. I even got the feet, guys. Who knew Walmart has such nice furniture sometimes, guys? There it is. So it looks like it's part of a sectional piece. Um, obviously, there's, you know, the parts on the side here are not there because obviously it's only one piece, but let's try it out, guys. <sighs> it's actually kind of firm and comfy at the same time. <laughs> so I looked it up. I used my Google Lens and it looks like this particular piece is $1,700 on Wayfair. Um, I'm not positive what Walmart was selling for walmart.com, but I'm pretty stoked. The only downfall is I'm not sure how we're going to sell it if there's nothing on the sides. So we have this box here, guys. Um, it says four wheel single expander trolley case. I hope it's not another one of those. What do you call it? Um, they had something, it was like a gondola for store stuff. All right, let's check this one out. All right, so we opened um, uh, like five suitcases and this is the one that we already opened already. This one we sold really well for $45 um, like two weekends back or maybe even last weekend. So that's good, I'm excited. They're ultra strong. Um, I listed for $45, someone took exactly 45. There's no markings on it. Oh, 
this might be something good. The pots and pans set. And it's Teflon. like this particular um, 20 piece set of pots and pans is about a hundred to hundred and thirty five dollars we'll probably put it in our um, our booth for maybe like 60 or 70 bucks we did sell the uh, pioneer woman set just last weekend super stoked about that the Rachel Ray stuff is a little bit more expensive so I still have that one set left there but um, I don't know if it was because it was Mother's Day or if somebody just needed it, but it's super exciting that these could sell for that kind of money. The rest of the items on this particular palette are super heavy, guys, and I already know what they are. It is the workbench, um, and I did put, well, I didn't put it up together, but Jeff did. This one right here, this really nice workbench, um, we sold about three of these so far for about a hundred dollars and um, I'm pretty excited about them. Uh, we have like a whole bunch more. One, two, three, four hundred dollars worth of stuff. There might be one or two more on one of those palettes, but I'm not gonna pull them out and show you. There is this trampoline. I do not want to open it. Um, it says Jump King. We were a little concerned, which I'm gonna have to have Jeff help me with. It said box uh, two of three, I believe. Yes, box two of three. So I don't know if there's more stuff and it's missing, but if I go to take it all out right now, I'm gonna have so much of a mess on my hands. <laughs> Let's open this other one. So we have this palette here. This one has tires on it. Um, I'm not sure what this is. Over the bed table. Oh, this was the table that Jeff was looking at. I think he just put it on top of here to save. Uh, this is one of those uh, medical bed tables that goes in your house if you wanted it. Um, I don't know. There's a few things on here that we just piled on top just temporarily. So let me see if I can open some of that stuff. So I grabbed another box from one of these pallets and I started opening it up. And this one has 3M, um, which is like that tape company um, and these are purifier air purifiers and there is one two three four so they're all case packed guys so we got these um mainstay uh memory futons if you haven't already seen our very first truckload video you'll see that we knew what these were right away i'm trying to figure out what color they are because the box doesn't say oh it's a nice pretty blue gray color so I think this is going to be a really good sell because there's so many of them to put on Facebook Marketplace. But this is the way it looks. So it's got like these, um, and I think they fold down flat, which is nice. And if you've been in Walmart recently, you'll see that they have them on display. So in last night's unboxing, um, I didn't do one on camera, but we came across um, a whole bunch of these case pack window fans. And I um, am so excited because we can sell these right away. It's um, like super hot here in um, New York this week and we're getting like 80 degree temps. So I actually might put those um, out on a table out there when we get ready. I'm telling you guys, so many people have a stigma about the Walmart loads, but I have to be honest with you, I am so excited about these. So our next box says um, Watch Hill and it says handcrafted and there's a picture of lamps so i have a feeling there's um you know some really nice lamps in here so let's see what they are oh what a pretty shade that's pretty nice. Let's see what the base looks like. There's only one, so. Ugh. Oh, this is actually really nice, guys. See how pretty that is? It's like a really nice um, like ceramic style jar with this really pretty pattern on it. And then um, with the lamp shade, oh my goodness, that's, that's gorgeous, guys. All right, so I see this one in here. 
Walmart 99 supply use. Not sure. It's very light. So let's figure out what this one is. Probably curtains. No. The caps to something. I have no idea. I don't know what we're gonna do with these. They look like for siding. Like when you stick them under siding. I'm not positive. There's a whole box of them. This next box says it's 70 pounds and there is no markings on it. But when I flip it over, it feels like it's heavy MDF, like particle boards. I have a feeling it's like a dresser or something. I'm not sure. Let's open it up. I was right, it's piece of furniture. And I have no idea what kind. This big box of mystery. Is this one really heavy? Woo! Oh, Pro Master Folding Spring Rebounder. I think that's for lacrosse. I think that's what Jeff said he saw when he was looking these over. Looks like that lacrosse rebounder is about $64 and some change on Walmart's website. So I'll probably list it for maybe 30, 35 bucks and see if someone will buy it. So I'm opening this and I'm not sure what it is. There's no markings on this box, guys, and it's like super huge. And I go to open it up and there's, let's see. It looks like, um, like that composite decking. I wonder if it's a picnic table. Oh, there we go. Ah, now I did just see a sticker a second ago and it says that it's Ooh, look at that. from Sam's Club. This might be one of those deck boxes. That's exactly what it is. These are the two sides. That's the top and the bottom. So it's a really nice color. Not a good piece. So guys, I've been working tirelessly. I opened some of those items for you. I've been here since 8 o'clock. Or... Er, Actually, no, I got Ella on the bus at 8.30, so I got here right around 9 o'clock, and it's almost like noon. I'm just exhausted, the heat and everything. Um, so right now, I opened up all those pallets, and I'm just organizing pricing stuff. Here, let me show you what we got. All right, so Jeff's going to build that tomorrow when he's here, because he likes a little project every now and then. Um, I think he'll be okay with that. If not, I'll work on it. There's the workbenches. I got those priced for $125. There is this five drawer emery um, dresser. And um, I put the retail price and then what I'm asking. Then this one we got out of one of the other pallets. It's really, really nice. Um, it retails for two to $300. Um, I put 200 bucks on it. There is the folding rebound, which is the lacrosse. You got the trampoline. Then I have these items here. This is a box spring. Um, we have the TV stand. I put all the chairs back here with the table. We got the tires. I have all the suitcases. Um, and then I'm pricing this stuff. I have all the futons and then there's two more here. We have these came in. Um, I just showed them to you a little bit ago. Those are the filters. There's some car parts from one of our other unboxings with a process load. I put some of this other stuff out here. There's like the bookcase, the Better Homes and Gardens lamp. Um, this is a really, really nice gold light fixture, guys. Um, and then we got the wet vac. I have to do a little bit more research on these magical panels. Jeff thought they were file folder things, but I think they're actually solar panel um, Things. If you guys know or have seen those before, please leave a comment down below. I am kind of clueless. So I got uh, three box fans here. They're $20 a piece. We ended up getting, um, these are baby gate extensions. I'm going to try to list those on Macari or eBay or something like that. Um, they're pretty lightweight and they're already pre-boxed so they'd be easy to ship. We put the Papasan up there. I might have to build that and then we can put it outside the unit on um, the weekend. There's another um, shelving unit right up here. And 
we got this out of one of our boxes. This was an LOL OMG house. Um, I just pulled it out and it's pretty awesome. I don't know if it's all in there though. I can't tell and that's the part I'm a little nervous about. <laughs> um, this right here is really neat. It's a really cool looking, um, what do you call it? Like a TV stand, which is really awesome. There's the medical bed. I got the even flow gate there. I got the weights. Um, those, there's so many of them. They're easier to carry two by two than they are all in one giant box. I wish Walmart would have realized that. These um, dumbbell weights down here, I think that dumbbells, um, those retail for $300. So I'll probably put on a price of 200 bucks. We got another one of those storage totes. I sold all out of the wicker ones. And so this one was on one of the new pallets. So that was really good. I got $18 on it. It retails for over 20. I think it's like 27. We got the electric mower. A girl messaged me the other day. She's interested in it. She's like, but she's like, I want to see it run because it cut grass. I just bought one and it doesn't work. I'm like, are you kidding me? I'm like, there's really no grass and it's on an extension cord. So I don't know if that's going to work for her, but we could probably plug it in and see. So, and then we got the rolling cart there. So this is kind of going to be what the setup is for now. I think this is pretty easy for people to see stuff and everything's priced. I'm also going to be printing out pictures of some of the items that are in the boxes. I did a screenshot just so that way I could tape them to the box and people can get a better idea. I don't want to have to do too much extra work having to pull them out and put them all together. Um, and plus sometimes it's easier for them to take them home when they're in the box. So we're going to do that. So this was all the soft good stuff. So it's just blankets and cushions and stuff. I have to put this in this unit so that's what i'm doing right now that's the last step i'm making room in here um i'm not happy with the way everything looks because it looks kind of jumbled but once um we open up for the flea market and we get some of these boxes out here we like to line the front of our unit so more people can see what we have then um it'll be easier to walk around and it won't look so cluttered well I'm in the car on my ride home. Um, I just stopped off and grabbed something to eat and dropped off some lunch for Jeff. It's about 2.30, guys. I've been exhausted. I did have someone come. Um, she picked up one of the futons. Uh, they're originally $178. I listed them for $140. And uh, she offered $100, which I was not going to take $40 off already so um i came back at 125 and she accepted um when she got there uh there was you know my units were open and i told her she was more than welcome to look around she bought two of the sort of pillows um i did i think 15 dollars each on those and then we had gotten um it was like a kitty litter box um for like I don't know. I think I put it down for $10. So um, I made quite a bit of money today. I was pretty excited. I didn't even expect to make any money. I was just organizing the unit. I still have some other things, the larger items I'm going to list, but I'm going to go home today. I'm going to um, print out pictures of some of the furniture pieces that are in the boxes so people can actually see them. And then uh, tomorrow we're going to open up the flea market. So that is all I have to share with you guys for today. And uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.